Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Hampton Beach Village District 2017 operating budget, estimated revenues, and money articles. And this uh, legal notice has been posted in the Portsmouth Herald, the Hampton Union, and uh, posted in the town office and at the library. And I'm sure that one of you nice folks, since I sent that, I think I forwarded it to Chuck, who posted it at the beach as well. Okay, we have our handout, and it says you are hereby notified to meet at the Hampton Beach Fire Station located at 119 Brown Avenue at 1 p.m. on the afternoon of Friday, March 24, 2017, to cast your ballots from that hour until at least 7 p.m. in the evening for the following offices. And then Article 1 is the offices, which does not affect us. Article 2 is the budget. Chuck? Why don't you talk to us about the budget? All right. Well, thank you very much for having us. Uh, I don't know if uh, just for people in, in town can understand, we have basically two budgets. We have general government, which everybody in the village district pays a percentage of. And then we have culture and recreation, which people that have commercial and multifamily units in the village district share the expense of. Well, I can start with, um, I'll start with income on general government. Yes. Very simple. It's taxes. And we'll look at, on general government, of proposed income at 61685000 Chuck, clarify for us. $1,085, Because you, uh, the Hampton Beach Village District does not have or, or, uh, does have a default budget. Do you guys run with the default budget? My brain doesn't remember. No. No. Steve, we're not in you don't have to produce you don't have to produce a default budget. There is no such thing as a default budget. They are not an SP two organization. Right. We're not an SP two, okay. so what happens is the budget can be changed at a yearly <laughs> So if someone comes in and wants to okay. adjust the budget, either add funds or reduce the budget. Just want to clarify. Okay, so you're showing you anticipate income of sixty-one thousand hundred and eighty-five six eighty-five. This is for general government. Twenty-seven year. Okay, if you want to walk us down right. on expenses, um, expenses, the executive board payroll at fifty-one hundred, which includes um, the commissioners, the um, treasurer, different uh, offices of the of the village district. Okay, different. Chuck, make sure people can hear you because you always speak so softly. Uh, other offices such as? Um, supervisor of the checklist. Supervisor of the checklist. Okay. And, 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 the voting. and, and voting. Yep. Okay. Okay. Accounting and auditor is, uh, we, we have our own accountant, and then it also has to be audited. Right. So that, that, that's basically where we're at. Um, it went up a little bit here, but not by much. Legal uh, at six thousand. Um, at one point, it was at fifteen, and every year we've been coming down. Fortunately, we uh, we don't we're not getting sued for anything, and <laughs> we don't have any uh, big purchases that we're doing right now that we need any uh, legal. So um, last year we spent twenty four hundred, but you have to have a, a decent amount in the account in case we need it. What doesn't get spent goes back into the, right. the government. The parking lot and all that tied up for you down there because you were working on that last year you're all set you everything have all is everything is smooth Hopefully. permitted it's done it's purchased it's yours that's yeah. correct yeah. excellent um, we have a, a small budget in for office furniture precinct hall furniture at 300 um, hopefully we don't have to use it playground maintenance it's a constant battle um, we actually have a new slide that's going in uh, that was purchased last year. It just hasn't been installed yet, so that's one thing we won't have to worry about. And then uh, we're just, it's a lot of painting, a lot of upkeep on the fencing, and, and uh, so it's, it's continuing. Can you ask a question? Yeah. In 2015, you had playground of 4,047, and now it's more than doubled. With, with that, you, you obviously... It's it's what needs to be replaced, what needs to be fixed. We, we Our budget in 2015 was I believe 10,000. We just didn't spend it. Uh, we're very conservative on what we have to spend, but um, so this is what you made. 
you appropriate, but you may not spend all of it. We may not have. spend it. But I, there's a lot that needs done, so we probably will spend it. Yeah. Uh, it's just a constant battle of upkeep, a constant battle of uh, uh, vandalism. Uh, the funny thing that we've talked about is now that we don't lock the uh, playground in the winter, the vandalism is cut in half. We seem to all try to break the bars to get in and everything else. Dad's throwing the kids over the railings and uh, oh, this way, having it open, it's actually saved us saved us money. So that's that's one reason you'll see the, the park open and there'll be <coughs> a foot of snow there. And they're still sliding down the sl slide. I guess it's kind of fun jumping in the snow from the slide. So I think that's They're not throwing them over the <laughs> over into the ocean, are they? No, 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 not at all. I have a question before you get too far along. Yeah, um, legal and auditing <clears throat> for that one just above it, forty-one fifty. Is there some of the legal and accounting used for the parks and recreation? Because I noticed you're using the parking lot income for the recreation department. Whereas the legal help you get the parking lots, so I was curious how you separate that. We don't. You don't. So you put all the, all the legal into the municipal part rather than putting some of it over in the recreation. Uh, nope, we don't. And the, the parking lot will eventually be uh, when once the uh, loan is paid off, all that money that's going will go into into the precinct funds. Under which? The general funds. General funds, what, for that be general government then? All of it, everything, yeah, to reduce the taxes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, precinct entry sign maintenance. So at every entrance, as well as in town, you'll see, welcome to Hampton Beach, or this way to Hampton Beach. Um, this year we need a lot of work. Every year we're on a rotating um, on each sign, it's, it's upgraded, it's painted, it's the, the brass letters are polished and re, re, refinished. Uh, this year, the one in um, Lafayette Road, is, I think, is the main one that needs a lot of work. So that, that, that's where that, that has gone up a little, and that's from quotes that we, we've received. So that's, that's why it's up a little. Um, Can I? Yeah. Uh, are you still on like a three-year cycle for doing the signs? Each sign every year, so it, it yeah. cycles through. Yeah. So there's one at the bridge coming into from mm -hmm. Seabrook. There's one off of, is it Winnicunit? Yep. Yeah. And then the one in town. Well, yeah, but aren't you trying to cycle through every three years or at least did one? Each one gets done, yeah, and then the additional. That's good. Uh, supplies, <coughs> mileage, other, it's pretty much the same. Um, and then our meeting recorder. Is that's the same has gone up for years. What is the insurance on liability? Yeah, insurance. On yeah, it's on all the events mostly. In case somebody fell, gets someone a falls in the playground. Someone um, fireworks. Fireworks. Some this fireworks company has their own insurance as well, but we have coverage if uh, one of the bands drops a bass drum on someone's head. I mean, we're covered for everything. Uh, the reason it's gone up the last few years is because we've extended the season. If you look at, if you look years ago, um, we might have had something Memorial Day and then we wouldn't have anything till the last week of June. Now we have stuff weekends in May all the way till Columbus Day. So it's not every day, but it's, there's a lot more shows, there's a lot more additional uh, events that are going on. So uh, that's, that's one of the reasons that's, go, that's gone up a little. Thank you. Yep. So I'll move along to culture and recreation. That's the bulk of our budget. And that, that's gone up. Um, oh, wait one second, if I, if I may, Chuck. <coughs> one quick question for you. Any communication with the state on evacuation signs? I know this comes up from time to time, but it's usually running around in the back of my head. And of course, 1A is a state highway. Any cooperation from the state to mark 1A? We've, we've talked to them about it. We've, uh, uh, they, they feel that they've done a lot. Um, but we've, <laughs> I know we've talked to them about it. We've talked to the town about it. We've talked to the police chief about it. And um, it's a, a continual battle. They want to... Uh, That's a state highway. Yeah. Gee whiz. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it's good that you get the same result that everybody else does when you talk to the state. Well, I got to tell you, though, and, and um, we <coughs> have never gotten along so well with the state and the town as we have the last few years. Um, anytime there's an issue, anytime there's a problem, um, any one of the three commissioners calls the state, we get results immediately. We get a phone call immediately. Um, so they definitely are working with us. There is budget constraints everywhere. Um, so, but they are very helpful, and they uh, have definitely worked well with the village district. So, um, but Ginny, I think will tell you that the town of Hampton for the school district is forced to pay the bus company for 90 seat buses because we are so close to the new plant and all that stuff, and the buses are half full because people are driving the kids to school. But there are impacts on this community as well. I just find it hard to believe they wouldn't get going and put a few signs up. Uh, I might add a comment at the area commission meeting. The state did say if it redid Ocean Boulevard, it would put an evacuation sign stand. Okay, so if the nuclear plant blows up and the highway is gone, then we can get some nice new some new roads. And but that's stuff. the same argument you'd make to the town, yeah. which doesn't put them on Highland Avenue or Church Street. Right. right. And not a bad idea, frankly. We've roasted it before, and you get uh, answers that aren't getting signs. Well, there's, there's incest there somewhere. Okay, um, we're on culture and recreation, which is pretty exciting. Jim, Income. Jim, yes. Yeah, i got a question. This, the state, you know, the central parking lot, does the state plow that? Or the city, the town plows it? There's been, it's been, I don't know if they're required to plow it, but they've been doing a lot of plowing, a lot of sidewalk work. But I have been getting a lot of complaints from residents and issues about town sidewalks and state sidewalks not being done. Um, I once asked DPW about the sidewalks, plowing the sidewalk. And he said if the town wanted to do it, he'd be happy to do it. Because the state doesn't do it. The state doesn't maintain sidewalks. We've all learned that. I'm talking plowing. Now, Dread, in the Dread which is a division of the state, but they're the pucks, mm -hmm. uh, they have been going down and doing the, the sidewalks on Ocean Boulevard, which they don't have to. They have been. Um, they've also kept the bathrooms open. They don't. They never did before. So a lot of the stuff that we have been asking for f for a long time yeah. is starting to get done. Uh, so um, A few years ago, a couple of people who worked for the library got hit walking <coughs> down that earth. Yeah, that's right. So, and I had a, 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 a resident on K Street called me complaining about sidewalks, and she fell last week and had a concussion, I believe. So um, she's going to be talking to the... Uh, to the selectment about that. But unfortunately, that's not our issue. That's a town and state issue. So. Well, by 2117, you might have some improvements done. I won't be here. <laughs> Maybe you can tell them well, what to do. we're used to you. <laughs> okay, we have, oh, taxes. Uh-oh. So the taxes number is 424-096. Um, the nice thing is we have a lot of new construction and new buildings, and, and hopefully it's, uh, it'll, it won't affect too many people. Um, and you've had the reval, so that would spread some of the tax uh, right. burden. Right. Uh, interest, we have additional monies that are, that we, we've been putting money in, um, in, um, interest-bearing accounts, so we, we've actually, oh, that's been great. Um, parking lot. Wow. We budgeted at 210. Um, we were expecting more last year, but it's a learning curve on the new lot, and um, it's getting, every year it's getting better. We're getting a lot of, a lot more people that are um, doing overnight parking, so expect it to keep going up. How long was the new lot open last year? It was open for the whole season. It was open for the whole season? Yeah. That area isn't as busy. So until... I just thought it would start later. But yeah, but until the um, 
until the cottages and the houses, those are the people that are using it, their friends that are coming down. And that, that's one of the main reasons we did right. that lot, to help some to help that location. under the beach. So. Yeah. We also have leases on that. Do we have people yeah. who lease for the season? Yeah, but are they working down there all the time? Um, most of the time, not all the time. But does we have, have a bath, so. Does it have a bathroom too, like the other one does? We put a bathroom in that, and there, yep. Yep. Thank you. That was that was fun. I'm trying to find the lines. Yeah, digging that one. <laughs> trying to find the sewer pipe is probably a challenge. Well, considering how long it took us to get a bathroom at the Church Street parking lot, you guys were very proactive. But well, we knew not to mess. Yeah. Us. <laughs> Okay, so uh, sand sculptures, that income is from sponsors. So we have a high number in there hoping that we will get that many sponsors. Last year, the sponsors that are advertising, and the Geico's and uh, the different different companies get that people you see. To come down and look at the sand sculpture, which draws people. And there's the different beach. levels, yeah. yeah. So you. that's so that's that's where that comes in. Uh, so that helps offset a lot of the, the cost of the, the uh, event. Um, not all of it, obviously. You'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, like quite a jump. A jump from what? On the uh, sculptures. It does go up. Every goes up. Another... Well, let's work on uh, income, and then when we get down okay. to that, we'll go to that. Is if that's all right? Oh, actually, guys? that's what I was talking about. Oh. oh, well, we had, in 2015, we had $38,000, and in, in, uh, we were hoping for 40, we got 38. Last year, it wasn't as strong. We were only at 26. Uh, part of the reason being is um, the contract wasn't organized early, so they weren't able to get sponsors. So hopefully uh, hopefully this year he'll be ahead of the game. Um, we're allowed to take donations. Uh, I'm still waiting. Uh, <laughs> we have a fund called the Ashworth Trust Fund, which get two hundred dollars every year. That usually goes into the playground. Um, so that that's the income. We'll go to expenses. This is the fun part. So our advertising buzzer has been up to about nine thousand dollars. Wait a second, I'm sorry. $4,000. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at 2015. Um, one of the main reasons for that is we're really expanding social media. And um, we, we get, on our website, we get, we don't get thousands of hits. We get over a million hits. So it, it's, it's just amazing. Now, obviously, I'm sure some people are on it all the time, but just the idea that we get that much interest is, is, is great. So we're expanding that out there. <coughs> people click on Hampton Beach. It comes right to our website. We're the number one. There is, we have four different websites that are Hampton Beach, but it goes right to ours, and we want to keep it that way. Do you advertise on that? Do we advertise? We have our own website, and then that website has all the hotels, all the real estate agents, all the restaurants, anybody in the village district can be on that website. So um, if you are a taxpayer in the village district, you can be on that website. Thank you. And you have a picture of the three of you on the website, and that's why they tune in. That's probably why, right? Because of Maureen, not me. Or Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a picture at the uh, hall. Yeah, that's right. We get thousands of hits on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. we do. <laughs> All right, the media director has stayed the same for the past few years. Um, entertainment. Entertainment went up again um, just because we added more shows. Didn't go up a lot, but if you if you look back 10 years, it's, it's oh, yeah. up a lot. But we like I said, we've added a lot more shows. And the bands have increased prices some yeah. as well. And, and I'll tell you, Glenn does a great job uh, working with these bands and, and keeping them... It's, it's very special for a lot of these bands to come to Hampton Beach. You might have a band that charges two, three times what, what we pay, but because they want to come to Hampton exposure. Beach, they get the exposure. They get mm -hmm. weddings out of it. They get people excited. They, families come up for certain bands. We have certain bands that they have a polka band that comes up, and the Polish community from Massachusetts just flocks to Hampton <laughs> Beach. <laughs> it's just, it's, you know, they, they get very excited about the different bands, and people come in. Uh, for each one, and, and uh, Glenn does a tremendous job organizing them all. Um, he's got a good staff with them, uh, so they do really well. 
uh, the idle competition, that went up a little bit. Um, again, we got a new sound system. When you get a new sound system, it costs, you need a new person to run the sound system. Uh, plus, we have extra staff for, for that than we used to have before. So those are staffing costs? Mostly on that, yeah. Does it, does it charge, does the state charge you for the uh, shell? Absolutely not. No. You know? No. We have a, I believe it's a $100 processing fee for all the Initially. paperwork. But we for don't the whole pay year. fees. We don't pay any fees. I sort of had a feeling they'd try to get you to pay them then. Well, if we didn't we put don't. shows on the stage, they wouldn't need a stage. That's probably true. <laughs> we told them it would be a lovely planter if we didn't put all this stuff. And then, then our beautification committee, if we weren't putting shows on, I don't know if they'd put plants on there, so I don't yeah. know where they'd get all the plants. So. <laughs> but they're very cool. Just to say this, Brian Wilson has been very cooperative down there with us. Um, he's, he's, he's a joy to work with. He's the fellow who's your rep for the state? He's is the that, Brian Wilson? Yeah, he's not our rep. He, well, he, he represents, Parks, yes. Yeah, Parks, he's in charge of the... Whatever they call him. Yeah. I forget the title myself. He's a superintendent. Superintendent. Of the superintendent. Okay. He's wonderful to work is with. Is he out over in the boonies still, or is he down here mostly? He's down here, is he not? He's here mostly, and I think part of his... I, I'm not... I'm, please, I don't really know. I think part of his thing, he lives on the seacoast. At, at one of the uh, state's houses that they oh, have, does he? Yeah. by Odeon, well, right. not positive. No, no, so what I, is that? Uh, the Rye Beach area, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He's at a house up there. Yeah, he's here. The the oh, house. but the, by the harbor there in Rye. That's I great. So. That belongs to the state. That yeah. house does right there. I want to say yeah. that's where he is. So he's very accessible. He's always here. That's great. Very good to us. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's find where we were. Parking, Parking lot. lot. Payroll was better than we expected last year, but we need to up that this year. We actually had, we need to up it from the actual. Yeah. It's down. It's down from 56. Trump. It's down from the budget. The actual was 37, so it's up from from the actual, right? Down from last down, year's budget. Down from last year's budget. Thank you. <coughs> and so um, What's down? Would you pay your people who pay work the there? people that attend the parking staff. the staffing. Now, uh, one of the issues we had is we had a lot of younger people at the parking lot, and with state law, we need to make sure they're over a certain age. So we, we had we, we'll have we have to hire kids kids that are older. So by hiring older kids, you have to. What's the age limit? Bob, do you remember what that was? I think it's a minimum of 16. 16. Minimum 16. We had a couple that were under 16, so we changed that right away when we found out. So. I have a quick question, Chuck. Oh, yeah. go ahead. I have a Sean. question on the park. Are the tickets numbered? Yes. Yeah. yeah anybody ever do an audit? Stephen is on that every it's single day. It's audited every year. He have <coughs> it every year. Yeah. But he collects business. the funds every uh, regularly, um, and each tag and has come off a roll, and it, it's it's yeah. covered that way. Okay. And honestly, if you look at per parking spot, the village district makes more than any other lot in the town, whether it's a state or the town lot. Yeah, well, so, you know, you have two parks. So one could be the town and the other. Yeah, we're very, we're uh -huh. very, we trust who we have there. And Mike, who's been there for a long time, he wouldn't put up with anything. He's he's on top of his staff, so I, I'm I'm not really worried about that. It yeah. could happen. Well, the other maybe someone gets a free spot. I mean, go to credit card. Quick question for you. Since your parking lots, like the towns, are taking in cash, um, does your insurance cover you for any potential losses just in case somebody yeah. should decide to flee to Florida with the night's takings? Yeah, I don't think it's a huge amount, but we don't take a huge amount in every day, so but we're covered. And it's 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 not left on site, so we're not we don't have a yeah. worry there. So you are covered. Yes, yes. We'll go back to the insurance on that. <laughs> All right. Um, supplies. Supplies. Part of that increase on, on the supplies, uh, we need a new gate at Brown Ave. I don't know if everybody's seen that. It looks pretty what are bad. the other supplies? Signage, signage flags, cones. Tickets. For uh, tickets. The uh, pay, uh, the paving the lines, that type of stuff. 
it all adds up. Um, have our loan payment, which comes, which is pretty much set. What is the loan payment? Because in 2015, you've got 31,000, and then the next year. So we bought 19. the uh, parking lot. That is, we, we, we call it the Clues lot, which is on the back of Ashworth Avenue, where yep. Clues, Clues Hardware and Furniture used to be. <laughs> so 31,000 was a partial year. So we, our set payments will be all be the same until it's paid off at one one nineteen. So when does this get paid off? In seventeen more years, I believe. Twenty year loan? What was it? Twenty years? Ten year loan. Oh, it's a ten year loan. So we're a couple years into it. Okay, so, so seven more years. That's cool. Uh, or seven and a half years, more around there. Because when you pay that loan off, you're going to really have a a wonderful income. Yes. Right. That's right. That's when we'll go cool. private. <laughs> and the precinct was fortunate to get that property because the Clues family is certainly uh, well thought of, and they gave a uh, little consideration to the precinct. They were very, uh, yeah, yes. they were very patient. And um, one thing with uh, the Clues family is they were part of this beach for so long that they wanted to give to the beach, and this was something that we knew we needed. So, yeah, cool. Yeah, thank you. All right, fireworks. We are on a year two of a three-year contract. That's that's just the amount that we're at, and it, it depends on how many shows we have. Mm -hmm. So I believe 16, 17 shows, 16 shows. So that's that's where we're at at that. And and I, and what we pay per show is much less than anybody else. Excellent. People that people go in and they pay. 15, 20,000 a show yeah. because they do one show. We do so many. And I'll tell you, they send people down to see the show at Hampton Beach to sell it. So we're kind of their advertisement. And I get phone calls from little towns in the middle of nowhere that ask, can we, what, what about your fire? <coughs> so, so we give them good references. They take good care of us. Excellent. And they have a New Hampshire company, which is what I like. So. Where are they located? Hooks it. Is it Stephen Hooks it? Hudson. 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 One of the H's. <laughs> <laughs> over there, wasn't it? Are we back to now full time paying for New Year's Eve? I'm sorry, what was that? Are you paying the Queen New Year's Eve from now on? Yes. Good. All right, so. Okay. Professional sculptures. Sand sculptures. That has grown into a phenomenal event for Hampton Beach, but also the cost has grown. Um, but I think we get a, a good bang for the for the dollar that we spend. Um, so this is a contract price. He went up a certain percentage every year, and that's where we're at. So you pay the people to do their sculptures? So they come in, the, the person that runs it comes in and does the sculptures, and the winners get prizes. Well, that's prize money. Prize money, mm -hmm. but not just prize money. The sand itself, I, I don't know the exact number. Cost. It's expensive. It's like, special sand. It's special it's sand that's brought in. The, uh, the storage of all the um, the forms, all the stuff that's there, everything adds up, and it's 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 all in there. We have to provide extra parking that we we get for them and stuff like that. So that it's a little of everything. And then you have security at night. Yes. All right, so security. That's the next line, Brian. Line. Yeah, next line. So security. Yeah. Security is we put up because uh, we had some issues last year. Yeah. And I think we need to get uh, a professional company in there for the nighttime. So um, that's what we're working on now, getting some, some quotes. Okay. Um, the commission on the, um, the sponsor contract, or the commission basically comes out of that. If you go back to uh, income on sand sculptures, they get a, they get a certain percentage commission and that's where that, that uh, fee is. So we want the commission to be as high as possible. That means uh, we've taken a lot of uh, uh, sponsorship in. What happens to the sand because it's got glue in it, right? You have to remove it, and that costs yeah. a lot, yeah. too. Yeah. And then you have to bring it in and do the pile. So it's bringing it in and taking it out costs yeah. a little amount of money. No, so I don't know. know. And they said they didn't <laughs> because the sand has is not from yeah. here, so right. environmentally it can't be kept here. And there's, they actually mix in the sand a mixture of Elmer's glue and water and different yeah. things like that Help to, to make together. it give it a, right. a texture. Is that the same stuff, obviously, that's on 
High Street, just as you go into yes. the, 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 there's a sculpture there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's in the middle of rainstorm. Rain the thing yeah. never goes away. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, though. They actually, rainstorms solidify them. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, they don't know. worry about the rain. The rain hardens it. They don't care. They worry about the wind. Yeah. Where wind can sand? do a number on it. Where does the that go? Over sand go? Uh, whatever the contract that the, uh, that they have with uh, Lasad, they pick yeah. it up, take it back. So that's probably why it's on High Street because they have the sand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> okay, keep the side conversations down because right. we're trying to hear Mr. Rage. We have an event, event coordinator. coordinator. The coordinator for volunteers, basically, we everything we have all these volunteers out handing out the pamphlets, te explaining everything to it. Hopefully everybody here will uh, will become a, a yeah. volunteer, and that person gets a, a stipend for uh, for making sure that there's always somebody there, and that person's always there. Brian. Uh, Brian did it one year, a few years back. It's a lot of work, isn't it, Brian? <laughs> we don't seem to get many people for many years. That's the only problem. And you actually never get away from it. Yeah. Um, Mr. Rage. We have sand event T-shirts. A lot of that is washed away. Um, it goes to the people wearing it, that are sculpting wear it, the volunteers wear T-shirts, they sell so off T-shirts. It's a promotional yeah. item. Yeah. All right, so that's it on sand sculpture. We'll go to special events. We have an activities facilitator. That stays the same. Children's Week, we do a big uh, thing for Children's Week. We we are the main sponsor of Children's Week, but it is actually run by the Hampton Beach Chamber of Commerce. Oh. So I'm not sure what what they actually spend on it fully, but we donate ten thousand toward the toward the Chamber what of Commerce. What week is that usually? Usually the second full week of August. And if you talk to any of the realtors, they're full because of that event. A lot of kids that week. Uh, movie night and other activities. So movie night, now that's where we get the most bang for the buck. I don't know if anybody's been down there on a Monday night. There's anywhere from, if the weather's not good, from 200 to 600 people on that beach. And it's free. People love it. And we bought more equipment. We bought more. We, we bought have to buy a larger room. screen. A larger screen. <laughs> to you know, every the, every yeah, single because thing because the they couldn't see it. Then we needed better mm -hmm speakers <laughs> so they could hear it. You had people all the way down to the beach and they were hearing the waves crash. They couldn't hear the, the, the movies, so that was it. It's not shown within the, the big shell? No, 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 no this no, is no. right on the beach. On the sand. So on the back side of the playground, uh, there's a screen that's probably 25 feet wide. Kind of like an old drive-in. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like yeah. a drive-in. Oh, cool. And, and the... Um, uh, John Kane is there every week. He he runs that with the a few other people. Making out the little red wagons. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, the hottest part, John will tell you, is um, the winds trying to blow up the screen because it's blown up, and you have to tie it down. And while you're blowing it up, and if there's strong winds, um, the screen could end up a block down the road. <laughs> so it's a lot of work. But that we get, we get people that just flock to that, and they love it. So that, that's a big thing, and the other activities, they just anything else we're doing. If we have a uh, a Valentine's tea or something at Halloween for the kids, that that's where that that's all in that budget. Um, we have a coloring book that we put out last year. We we bought four hundred million of them. I'm not sure where we're going to put them. We did not buy four hundred million. We bought quite a few coloring books. Uh, <laughs> So basically, the two hundred dollars is to buy crayons. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's where that is. That's why it's small compared to the year before. Christmas parade. We had the best float on the parade. We didn't win anything, but um, we should have because everybody was <laughs> dancing and cheering. We had uh, we had um, Continental. the Continentals, who was a staple of Hampton <coughs> Beach, um, playing Christmas music down down the road. Um, I think it gives us a, a good exposure, and it's something we're giving back to the town. <coughs> it doesn't necessarily a huge asset to the beach, but the beach is part of the town, so this this is why uh, we feel it's great to be part of, to be part of it. Um, Blue Ocean Society. Um, I, I am sure you're all familiar with them. They do all the education on the beach. Uh, they do beach cleanups. They collect four hundred thousand. 
cigarette butts every time they go out. Uh, <laughs> just like crazy amount of money, um, crazy amount of cigarette butts. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, but they also do a lot of education for the kids. They have this little center there that people come in and um, play with the starfish and check out the blue lobster or whatever they have, <laughs> have going. Um, we originally were at 2,500 last year at our meeting. It was upped by um, one of the residents to five, and uh, we kept it at five. And let's see where we are. Banners. Banners, flowers, and visual. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows all the work that the Hampton Beach Beautification Committee does. Uh, they're very hard workers, but a lot of that stuff comes with cost. Mm -hmm. So that money goes to payroll. On, there's a lot of volunteers, but there is some payroll, and it goes to the bulbs and to yeah. everything else. And uh, it definitely, I don't know if you go up and down, you can definitely see the difference that they do on the beach. So That really mushroomed. From it started with mm -hmm. a couple of ladies right. putting in a couple of plants. Oh yeah, they right. were doing lessons on how to do flower boxes when they first started, yeah. and now now we have plantings all over the place, and we have a lot of volunteers and great enhancement. Rich and Renier mm -hmm. does um, um, cutting the grass, and yep. the Gepcots are out there every day, and and we have we have so many great people in town that that uh, that help not just in the village district, but people from in town come and help, which is great. Good. Um, Chamber of Commerce. So the Chamber of Commerce, this is something we've done for years. Um, they work with us. They do a flyers. They send out a lot of mailings. So we give them flyers. They send those out. Uh, and they run the office at the beach. And that $7,000 that we've been giving them goes toward helping staff the, the visitor center. So that's, that's where that donation is. And then... Um, to make the numbers work, there's a dollar in there. I don't, I'm not really sure how that happens. It, 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 it uh, just kind of it floats around for some reason. So that's the, you know, the other dollar. And that's it. So on, any other questions on anything? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed that the income that you all take covers all your expenses and you're not in the hole. I mean, you're ahead of it by a buck. <laughs> <laughs> Has that been done every year? That, yeah, it has that, to be. That's intriguing. It has to be. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have a choice. Well, what happens if you didn't get? Uh, let, me, let me make up a story. You're going to pay all this in expenses. We know that. But in reference to the parking lot, you end up, you don't get two ten this year. You get hundred and eighty. You'd be behind by thirty thousand dollars. How would that be? Well, when they set the taxes, they uh, they go by income and they go by expenses, and that's how they set the tax rate. So the tax rate could change. Stephen, you want to? Well, <coughs> it's shown. Incident, more. wait, David. Okay, this is what we with, without our magic uh, crystal ball, we're just estimating. Okay. Right now, in September, <laughs> town of Hampton, the school board. Village district has to file an MS form with the DRA, which is an updated um, revenue. Because by that time of the year, after the third quarter, you know pretty much how much revenue you're going to come in. And of course, it works out well for Hampton because the beach is pretty much closed after September. So each of the, these entities I just mentioned files a report, it's revised revenues. Okay, it's very accurate, and then the tax rate is set, usually by the second week of October. Okay, now, if, for instance, last year we had thought that parking lots we put in two hundred and sixty thousand dollars, but it was our first full year, so it was just an estimate. It didn't come in at that. It came in at two hundred and six nine ten, so two hundred and seven thousand. What happens is that. The number total income absolutely has to match the expenses. The expense so by right. law, by law, the state. So what happens is, if less, if we have a rainy summer and we didn't make as much money as we propose, then the taxes has to be adjusted up. Okay, so okay. more more tax money. So basically, it has to, but it has to come out to that number. Now, the tax that for the businesses and the whole community. In this case with the culture and recreation, this particular budget 
is for the non-exempt people. Non-exempt people would be businesses, mm -hmm. would be people, that, as Chuck already mentioned, people that own cottages that they rent, that uh, they have several units. So it's it's for the uh, non-exempt. Thank yeah? you. That explains it all. Absolutely. <coughs> do a much better job than I do. Once he says it, it's so clear. Why did I not get it? <laughs> oh, no, just ask. And, and if you just look ask. at the budget last year, we budgeted um, expenses of uh, six seventy nine, and we came in just under thirty thousand less. So we, we try to be as conservative as possible when we're spending, but then sometimes there is reasons that mm -hmm. control. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. So a couple of meetings ago, I think uh, I I got. I'm assuming that you passed them out, Steve. The uh, Hampton <coughs> Beach Village District profit and loss budget versus yeah. actual. I don't know how I got this, but I That's, have it. And this is for 2016. That's the um, handout from the actual the annual meeting that we'll be having <coughs> yeah. in another few weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. <coughs> okay. Any questions before we go to the public hearing? It's uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Last last year we took the boat out of a ride and went along the coast for the fireworks. We thought it was great. Uh, you get a totally different picture of the fireworks from the water side. Oh. We got a lot of boats in Hampton that should could do, you know, they could do get some business that way if they. Yeah. Do. Well, believe me, when we have to cancel, <coughs> they're not happy. Right? <laughs> the worst part of, of, of this job is deciding last minute whether we have to cancel because of, mm -hmm. of weather. Because they're all out on the boats and they mm -hmm. have people that are upset. So we try not to. Uh, but it is, it is great out there to see it. The other question I have is the chamber gets all the money from the seafood festival. Does anybody ever see, you know, you're giving them $7,000 to help yeah. in the advertising. Yeah. Do you get to well, see? Well, it's for running the, the information center, which is what, yeah. what we do. What they make on the seafood festival, you'll have to ask them. <laughs> um, it's a great, that is a you. great yeah. festival. Mm -hmm. They do make a lot of money on it, but it costs a lot to run. And you know what? If they have a bad a year. Money too, so. If they have a bad year, um, hopefully they have a slush fund to cover it. So uh, I don't, I don't begrudge them making money on it, as long as they continue to run it well. And uh, we, the, the other thing that's on the table is the interchange of 101, and you know, talking about parking cars at the traffic circle and using the busing. You know, I think that was shot down. No, it's, I don't know, I think it's on the 10-year plan now. I, I don't know, I think that no, was shut down. Shut down, huh? okay. <coughs> It comes back every few years. There's a lot of things that come back every few yeah. years. Yeah. Okay. The seafood festival does have insurance in case there's a bad. Mm -hmm. Not for the full amount, though. But, no. You know, uh, well, nobody knows really what that is, but yeah. it's a fair amount in case we get the rain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, if I may have a time, Mr. Jones, do we have a time? Because I'm going to open the public hearing. 7.51. <coughs> okay, at 7.51, we're going to open the public hearing for the public who is not here. But we are obliged to do a public hearing, and we have so advertised. So seeing no one in the audience willing or wishing to speak, we will close the public hearing at 7.51. 51. 51 p.m. <coughs> okay, final review, ladies and gentlemen. We have the budget figures. What is your pleasure? I will accept a motion if anyone is so minded. I would move to, to Article 2, the first new article on the warrant. Okay. Second before I read it. Second. Seconded by Mr. Henderson. Shall the district vote to accept the budget as set forth on the budget posted with the warrant to raise and appropriate the sum of $61,685 for the Hampton Beach Village District general government exempt budget purposes, in addition to any amounts that may be approved for special, for special articles? 
Okay, that motion has been made by Mr. Ladd, seconded by Mr. Henderson. Do you understand the intent? In favor? <coughs> Unanimous. All righty. Uh, um, I would now move Article 3. Yes. I have a second. Second. Shall the district vote to accept the budget as set forth on the budget posted with the war to raise and appropriate the sum of $675,546 in the Hampton Beach Village District Culture and Recreation Non-Exempt Budget Purposes in addition to any amounts that may be approved for special articles. Okay, uh, you understand the intent of that. Article 2 was for the exempt individuals, that's homeowners, <coughs> year-round property owners who don't make any money on their property. And well, Article 3 no. <laughs> is covering... Uh, no, this is the I'm business. sorry? Yeah, you're right. Article 2 is the right. people who don't right. rent the property, right. and Article 3 is the... People Article 3 is your non-exempt, your businesses, your... Uh, proprietors, entrepreneurs, and so forth, who, who make money at the beach. Um, would you uh, just make a quick note to yourselves, Maureen? Uh, j instead of an additional, just get rid of the L. You want to put in addition in both of those articles? Okay, you understand the intent of Mr. Ladd's motion for the non-exempt oh, yeah. figure of 675546. Zero, zero, zero for the recreation, culture and recreation budget. If there are no questions, I will ask. Did you find it? Yeah. The, yeah, just take the L off. Done. Done. <coughs> okay. Done. In favor of Article 3, which has been moved by Mr. Ladd, seconded by uh, Brian. Okay. In favor? Unanimous. You brought the magic potion with you tonight. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you. We thank appreciate you. what you do, and everything is very clearly outlined and and very uh, very easy to work with. Um, I am disappointed that you didn't bring a horde. You could have brought a busload up tonight <laughs> for the public okay, hearing. No one, no one's, no we one, have happy no people. No one's unhappy. Oh, happy people I know. Happy. They don't need to come. <laughs> Thank you so much, and it's very nice, Maureen and and Chuck. Thank you for filling in. Mr. Ladd has helped us tremendously, but we've enjoyed hosting you as well for fill in. So thank you. And if you'd like to come more often, the seats available. Okay, keep that in mind, Mr. Ladd. Okay.